Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm a product manager at WebPusher, and in this video, I will explain everything you need to know to customize your web push opt in prompts. As we discussed in the previous video, there are two types of prompts. Since native prompts are set and controlled by the browser, they are not customizable. This video is therefore primarily focused on customization of custom prompts. Our custom prompts are highly customizable. You have the freedom to customize the content, appearance, and timing of the prompts. I will briefly explain each of these before we dive into how to get this done from the Web Pusher dashboard. Let's start with the content. By content, I mean all of the text and the image you see inside the prompt, such as the message, icon, and the text for the accept and dismiss buttons. The appearance and format, such as the background color of the prompt, color of the text, and the color of the buttons is also customizable. And timing, you can adjust when the prompt shows up and also the time delay for reprompting. What I mean by that is if someone dismissed the custom prompt, you'll most likely want to reprompt them. How soon you reprompt is entirely up to you and is therefore customizable. Now, let me demo these options and controls. You first log into your Web Pusher dashboard and select the appropriate site. You then click on the settings menu option followed by opt-in prompts. The first setting is timing related. You can configure the timing such that the prompt either shows immediately or it shows after a visitor has seen some pages or after some time. Keep in mind that the third option applies to time lapsed on a page and not the total time lapsed on the site. The second configuration item is to select whether you want to show custom prompts before the browser's native prompt is shown or if you want to show the native prompt directly. I would highly recommend that you watch my previous video where I explain the difference between custom and native prompts. For the sake of this video, please know that we recommend you select the two-step option where the custom prompt is shown before the native prompt. The third set of configuration options are all related to content and style. Here you can customize the text, colors, and the icon. You can also select different styles of prompts. The reprompt delay can also be configured. We recommend this to be set to one day, but you can make it longer. The last option on the custom prompts is where you configure the topics for the custom prompt. We have a separate explainer video on topics that I recommend you watch. The changes, once saved, go into effect immediately for your visitors. Please clear your browsing history to see new changes take effect as you may have already dismissed the prompt or granted permission for push notifications on your browser. Hopefully, with this video, you're now able to understand our customization options and ready to customize the prompt to best suit your business needs. If you found this video helpful or useful, please like it, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest product updates and tips. Bye for now.